Area hospitals are seeing dramatic increases in COVID patients and admissions throughout their health care systems. News 10's Elise Corville joins us live with where the region's health care providers stand today. Hey, Dalfred, hospitals are relaying the same message. They're saying this surge hit them a lot faster and a lot harder. They say it'll be much faster on. They can only hope that it's much faster off. Omicron is reinforced is that we're not ever going to get rid of COVID. I mean, this virus is going to become part of humanity. It has become part of humanity. As the Omicron variant pushes daily COVID case totals to shatter previous records and statewide hospitalizations eclipsing the 2000 mark, area hospitals are feeling the fifth wave. In the Auctioner healthcare system, they are treating over 100 COVID positive patients. 18% are in the ICU, 11% are on ventilators. We certainly have been seeing an increase in the number of hospitalizations over the last uh, few weeks in our campuses. Medical director with Auctioner Lafayette General Dr. Amanda Logue says 186 employees are currently out due to COVID. That is uh, definitely higher than we've seen in any of our prior surges. Um, it crosses all of the all of the types of health care. Our Lady of Lords is seeing a dramatic increase in the number of admissions. Chief Medical Director Dr. Henry Kaufman says mid-December the hospital saw five COVID patients. They are now at 60 COVID positive patients. Nine are currently in the ICU. Six are on ventilators. There's a expectation that a significant number of the people that we have in the ICU on the ventilator will also likely succumb to their disease. With the increase in admissions, Our Lady of Lords announces some changes to daily operations on their main campus. They have ceased all the elective surgical procedures that require inpatient stay. And so we're having to make adjustments in that regard, even skipping over some um, phases of our surge plan to accommodate the rapid change that we're seeing. everyone to please keep ERs open for emergency situations. And again, you are encouraged not to visit hospital emergency rooms if you need a COVID test or if you need any vaccinations. Reporting live in Lafayette, Elise Corville, KLFY News 10.